want to thank God very much tonight. You are wonderful people. I know that you were here as from Friday up to today. And you are back again into the house of the Lord. You need to clap hands for God. Our God is so wonderful. Ah, you are wonderful people. You are wonderful people. Yeah, we are not allowed to, to, to promise you, uh, but uh, allow me to say that uh, your coming will change your life. Your coming will change your marriage. Your coming will change your family. God is not a respecter of persons. He died for us all, Jesus Christ. So I feel humbled to stand before you today to share the word of God. We want to welcome our DPs, our pastors, Pastor Lindan in the house, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to welcome the Church of God, our elders that are present, our deacons that are present, and the Church at large. We salute you for coming. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wonderful. Uh, today we are moving on with our with our topic. Uh, destroying the inheritance of family bondage by the blood of Jesus Christ. We were here last, last Sunday. Today we are back again to hear the word of God. Yeah, God has something that he has stored for us. I, I believe that. So what you need to do to, tonight is to raise up your faith. Raise up your faith as you hear the word of God. We need God to manifest himself in our lives through his word. It is his word that brings solution to our problems. It is his word that has got life. And this life it brings solutions to our situations. I believe in the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Because I have got a testimony of the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I don't doubt how the blood of Jesus works. I don't doubt when someone speaks or shares about the blood of Jesus, I know that something will happen in my life. Yes, I have been speaking the blood of Jesus Christ, but these days I'm growing in speaking the blood of Jesus Christ. And I'm sure this is the main reason that we are gathering here every Sunday to hear the message of the cross. There is no better message than this message of the cross. We can preach other messages, but there is the message that brought salvation, that brought healing, deliverance to people. That is the message of the cross. We are Christians today because of the cross. 
We are saved today because of the blood that was shed on the cross. We are enjoying the kingdom of God, the benefits of the kingdom of God because of the blood that Jesus shed on the cross. It was the blood that came out when the crown of thorns was pressed upon him. Blood came out. The reason that Jesus was, was, he was, was pierced, it was for us to be saved. It was the blood that was shed when Jesus was nailed on the cross on the palm. The nails that was put on his palms, the blood came out so that we may be saved. It was the blood that came out on his foot when he was nailed. It was the blood that came out of the water when Jesus was pierced on his side. Water and blood came out. It came out for us to be saved. It was not a general death that Jesus died. He died a painful death so that we may have freedom. We may, we may have peace. We may be healed. We may be delivered. So it was the blood all over on the cross it was the blood all over on the Mount Calvary on Golgotha it was the blood if we were there we were seeing the blood all over it was the blood at his back because he was whipped Amen. with some whips with irons that would take the flesh out of his body. All this was happening so that we may be delivered. So tonight we have come today to hear the power of the blood of Jesus, which was all over Calvary. The blood is still fresh and the blood has value. The blood is still having the power of God. So our reading is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse number 18 and 19. I'm going to read some different versions tonight so that we may get what the word of God is saying to us. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. This is King James Version. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptive things, as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Verse number 19. But with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. I will repeat. First Peter chapter 1 verse number 18 and 19. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptive things such as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. This is King James Version. New Living Translation. The Bible says, For you know that God paid the ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors. And it was not paid with mere gold or silver which lose the value. Which lose the value. Verse 19. It was the precious blood of Christ the sinless Spotless, the Lamb of God. New living translation. God paid a ransom to redeem us from the empty way of life we inherited from our ancestors. When we talk about our ancestors, we are talking about our forefathers. We are talking about our relatives that are already dead. But God paid a ransom. And the word of God says here, it was not mere gold or silver 
we should lose the value we should lose power you can have money you can have US dollar you can have the bond the RTGs you can have the runs the currents that you may think the, the pounds but the Bible is saying tonight these can lose value but the thing that bought us that was paid it never loses value we may like any other currents in the world but there is something which is precious more than the currents which is the blood of Jesus Christ I will continue with other versions but I want to say tonight according to verse number one Peter was addressing to the Christians who were scattered throughout Turkey and the Turkey that we know right now the people who were addressed by Peter they were the Jewish believers who migrated from Palestine to Turkey he was sending a letter to the people who were in Pontius to the people who were in the region of Galatia to the people who were in the region of Cappadocia to the people who were in Bithynia to the people who were in Asia so this letter as you read it you must know that it is a letter that addresses issues at home and addresses issues outside the country so this message is very important whenever you read the, 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 the letter of Peter you must know that it is a letter that addresses issues of people who are diasporas of people who are, in, who are not in their homeland so I like the Apostle Peter he was writing from Rome remembering the Christians who were outside their country so those who are in here today and those who are outside the country they need to hear this message the message of the cross the message that brings salvation the message that brings restoration to life wherever you are Peter is addressing you let me go back to, uh, to other versions the living Bible God paid a ransom to save you from the impossible road to heaven which your fathers tried to take I like this God paid a ransom to save us from the impossible road to heaven that our fathers our ancestors tried to take there are a lot of things that happened before we were born our ancestors they were trying to reach heaven with their rituals but it was the impossible road and the ransom he paid was not mere gold or silver as you well know but he paid for you I like this he paid for you when you hear about the blood of Jesus Christ is the payment for you uh, my Jesus ah uh, yeah 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 is the payment for me and the payment is the precious blood of Jesus Christ we have got the impossible roads that were tried by our forefathers but it was of no avail but these roads they are bringing curses upon our, our lives curses upon our marriages curses upon our families 
But we want to thank God tonight that God sent his son Jesus Christ to pay a ransom for us. For us to be saved. Hallelujah to Jesus. I'm moving on to another version. Contemporary English version. Verse 19. You were rescued from the useless way of life that you learned from your ancestors. When you hear about the blood of Jesus Christ, it's there to rescue us from the useless way of living that we learned from our ancestors who will come back to explain the useless way of living that we learned. I said last time, yeah, the useless way I learned from, from my fathers was to have more, 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 more girls. When I was a boy, I was having two girls before I received Jesus Christ as my personal savior. Two girls, one in Chipinge, and one was in Harare in, in high fields. And it's not my fault. Because where I'm coming from, my father had five wives. So this is the thing that is in my blood. So I was now trying to get to five. I, on, I was on number two. I don't know you, but I want to thank God. The way we learned from our forefathers, that leads us to destruction. Is the thing that we need to address tonight. My Jesus. You, may, you might not know that whatever you are doing right now is about what you learned from your ancestors. They never told you to have many wives, many girls. But it is in the blood. Hallelujah to Jesus. Peter is addressing them. They are outside the country, but is following them with the message of destroying the evil background. The background that has got evil covenants. The background that has got curses. That there are unknown curses that follow people. The background that has got family bondages. The spirits that control people in the family. You need to, to identify them and you have to address them. You were rescued from the useless way of life that you inherited from your ancestors. But you know that you were not rescued by the things like silver or gold that don't last forever. We like silver and or gold. We like money. But it, do, it does not last forever. So it cannot help us. You might have money, uh, yes, tonight. But you have got issues that you can solve with money. But Jesus Christ came and died for us. The, the thing that going to last forever is the blood of Jesus Christ. Verse 19, you were rescued by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the spotless and innocent lamb. You were rescued. To rescue someone is to take him by force. So when Jesus died on the cross, he was taking Mark by force from the family bondage of Maria family. He was taking me by force. 
But this is not automatic in my life in my life. I need to believe this and I need to apply this knowing that I was rescued by the blood of Jesus. Whatever is following me from Maria family, I'm here to declare that I was rescued by the blood of Jesus Christ. Now I know. The good news translation. For you know what was paid to set you free wow. uh, from the worthless manner of life handed down by your ancestors. Whether you know it tonight or you don't know it tonight, there is worthless manner of life. The way they conducted their life that was handed down to us. The things that they did when we were not born were handed down to us. But Jesus Christ, he died on the cross that he might break those things. The message of the cross. The message of the cross. Uh -huh. You will never remain the same. Your life will never remain the same. Your marriage will never remain the same. Your family will never remain the same. I will just look to the cross and look what happened on the cross. Aha, uh -huh. I will not remain the same. Verse 19. It was the costly sacrifice of Christ who was like a lamb without defect. Jesus Christ who died on the cross to save my life. God knew the relationship that we have with our forefathers. He knew very well that we are coming from, uh, from the families that don't know God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed, you must have the knowledge that my redemption was not of gold or silver. Silver is good, but cannot deliver me. How many people are dying with their situations, unsolved problems, but they have got monies? Jesus died for us so that he may set us free. Hallelujah to Jesus. The Amplified Version says, For you must know, recognize, that you were not redeemed with the corruptive things, such as silver and gold, from the vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. I will dwell on this scripture. And I know that the prayer that you may pray using the blood of Jesus Christ, it brings results. Whatever situation that you have, when you understand the power that is in the blood of Jesus Christ, I tell you, you have results. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You have results. Hallelujah. I'm going to define the word redeem. Redeem means buying back something which was sold, a thing which was formerly possessed. When Jesus died on the cross, he was on the business of buying us back. We were being claimed by spiritual things in our families. So he was buying us to be children of God. To redeem is 
is to make a payment for a thing held or claimed by another. You may not know that there are things that are claiming me. But spiritual, there are things that are claiming us. But Jesus Christ, he died for us so that we may be not be claimed by family bondage spirits, but we may belong to Jesus himself. Ah, ah, ah. Today, let it be your day. You have been crying for a long time. But Jesus died on the cross. He was on his business of redeeming the world. He was on his business of breaking some curses. He was on his business of rescuing people like me. Redeem to free to recover a thing or a person put in pledge. Uh, you want to hear this? Second Kings. Someone, I want a reader. Second Kings chapter number 17 verse 9 12 and 17. Jesus died so that he may set us free so that he may recover us from where we were pledged. You don't know that you were pledged one way or another. Hear the word of God. Someone to read. I want to read a place. Second Kings chapter 17 verse 9, 12 and 17. Second Kings chapter 17, verse 9. Yes. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord their God. And they built them high places in all their cities, from the tower of the watchmen to the fenced city. Verse 12. For the, the children of Israel, they did secretly the things that were not right. They built some shrines, some family altars in the cities where they were living, in their homes, they did it secretly. There are some things that were done secretly and these things, they are controlling our lives. So we are gathered here tonight so that we may destroy some family altars that were done secretly uh -huh. in our absence. They were built. You may not know the things that were built in your families, but they are things that were built that you need to destroy tonight. When we say, let us destroy, you must be serious. Destroying the things on your side, destroying the things on your husband, destroying the things on your children, the things that were built. We are not gathered here in vain. God has ordained this day that we may break the secret things. These things, they have got evil covenants that are following us. These things that were built, the, the shrines, the family altars, they have got curses that are following us. But Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, he died on the cross and he shed his blood to, 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 to deliver us from whatever was built in our families before we were born. It's my night tonight to declare the blood of Jesus to rescue myself. Verse number 12. For they served idols, whereof the Lord had said unto them, You shall not do this thing. This is the evil way of life. Verse 19 says, From the worthless men of life that you inherited from your fathers. This is the empty way.
way of life. This is the vain conversation of life. This is the tradition that Peter was referring to. That there are some traditions. Ah, uh, my Jesus. The idol worship that was done secretly, that was built in our families, but they are there to control us. They are there to put us into captivity. They are there to control my marriage. But tonight I will declare that now I know that the purpose of the cross was to deliver me from my captivity. That was caused by the secret things that were built in my family. My Jesus, my Jesus, I will never remain the same as I continue to hear the gospel of the blood of Jesus Christ. My life will never remain the same. My marriage will never remain the same. My children will never remain the same. What was built in our lives, in our families, they put what we call the spiritual embargo, which says you can go as far as here, but you cannot go further. But tonight we have come with the power of the blood of Jesus to destroy the spiritual embargo. You are limited in your life. Your marriage is limited. Your husband is limited. He is in captivity. But the blood of Jesus is going to break the boundaries, the limitations. The evil way of life. Referring to the way of life prior to the becoming Christians. The worthless, the foolish way of living. The way of worshipping idols. Yes, verse 17. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire. You can stop there. And they caused their sons and daughters to pass through fire. This is the evil way of life. They caused their sons and daughters to pass through fire. Another version says they sacrificed their sons and daughters to pass through fire. Another version says they dedicated their sons and daughters to pass through fire. They consecrated their sons and daughters to pass through fire because of their tradition. You don't know that what happened in your life. These Israelites, they sacrificed their sons and daughters. My Jesus. You can continue. And used divination and enchantments and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord. To provoke him to anger. They did engagements, whatever witchcraft, whatever they did, they sold themselves to do evil. They sold themselves. So when Jesus died on the cross, he was on the business of buying us back. He was on the business of resting us. He was on the business of setting us free. So you cannot remain in that family bondage. The spirit that is destroying your parents, that is destroying your fathers, that is destroying your children, that is... I cannot remain in the same situation. So this is how people are sold. Spiritually you are sacrificed. But thank God he paid the ransom. Thank the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross. By Jesus. On the same script
scripture. The word tradition means handing down of statements, beliefs, customs, information from one generation to another generation by a word of mouth or practice. There are some practices that were carried on in our lives, in our families, but these practices, they are not good. They are destroying us. They attract evil things. But Jesus Christ died for us that we may be saved. I don't play with the blood of Jesus. I don't play with the message of the cross. When I hear it, I know that this is my healing. This is my deliverance. This is my redemption. I know that I was rescued by the blood of Jesus. When I'm looking at the cross, Jesus shed his blood for me. Empty way of life. A way it doesn't it doesn't not bring pleasure to God. What you need to do as a child of God today, you have to carry out what we call the spiritual detective work on your background. You must see what is surrounding you? What is happening to your relatives? What had happened to those, the extended families? The spirit that is controlling the family. You must, you must have a spiritual detective work. You have to sit down and try to find out what is troubling us in our lives. What is happening in our lives? Jesus died for us. Jesus died for us. So that he may rescue us. You have to identify the family bondage in your family. Where I'm coming from, they are marrying two, three wives. There is a spirit of infidelity. So I, I don't want to be, to be told by anyone. I have to know it by, by, by myself that this is the family bondage in my family. I need to fight against this. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In other families, there are some tendencies of divorce. Marrying and remarrying. You learned the, 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 the wrong way. You were not delivered by silver or gold. Silver or gold cannot stop divorce. But the blood of Jesus Christ can stop the family bondage of divorce. In some families there is inherited sicknesses. That you can name that I am suffering from this sickness. But I know that my parents, they were suffering with this uh, kind of sickness. My brothers, they are having this kind of sickness. You must be up. You have to open your eyes. And you have to start to fight back and say, I am redeemed from this sickness by the blood of Jesus. I apply what the word of God says. I disconnect myself from the bondage of inheritance sickness I must be fresh it's not about just coming to church but you must know what is happening in your family you must know what kind of spirit that are operating in your family you must know what they are doing and you have to apply the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross in some families, there is infidelity, whereby you are not satisfied with your wife, with your husband. This is a spirit, a family bondage. 
you need to come out of this. You have to sit down and say, I have discovered that this spirit has affected me. It has affected my brother. It has affected my sister. His marriage, uh, my Jesus Christ, my brother, his marriage was destroyed because of infidelity. Jesus died to cut this spirit. Suicide thoughts. It's better for me to die. Empty way of life. It's not about what you are going through, but it's about what happened back. There is the spirit of death in your family. It's not about the marriage issues. It's not about the family issues, but there is a spirit of death that is hovering in your family. And you say, it, enough is enough. It's better to die. Jesus died so that he may stop this suicide spirit. in your life. Rejection. You are rejected today. People, they, they, they don't want to see you. Wherever you go at work, they don't count you. They don't see you. Because of what was done in the secret in your family, rejection is upon you. This spirit, Jesus died on the cross. He shed his blood to reverse the curse of rejection. For as much as you know that, it was not money that saved you from all these things that is in your life. Look back. What are you seeing in your life? What are you seeing in your marriage? What are you seeing in your family? What is manifesting in your family? It's an indicator that something is wrong. You need to address those things, not tomorrow, but tonight. By the blood of Jesus Christ. In some families, there is depression, lack, failure, spirit of limited. You cannot go further. You are limited. Peter is saying, for as much as you know that you are outside the country, you must know that it was not money that redeemed you from the empty way of life, from suicide, from divorce, from infidelity, from sicknesses. It was not money. Money will like it, but money has got some way it can end. But the blood of Jesus has got value, value more than money. There is power in the blood of Jesus. You must know. You have traveled. Yes, you must know. You have relatives who are out of the, who are out of the country. The Bible says you must know. If you don't know, you will suffer. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is poverty. The spirit of poverty in other families. You have to discover it that in my family there is this spirit. I'm here to stand on the word of God and declare the blood of Jesus Christ against this spirit of poverty. I don't belong to poverty. I belong to the inheritance that Jesus brought. you will never remain the same. With the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, you will never remain the same. The spirits of accidents in your family. Don't play with it. You have to find out what happened in your family. You have to go against this using the blood of Jesus Christ. Marriage problems, on and off. Separation, remarrying. 
your sister, the same thing, your brother, the same thing, and now it's you, because it is a generational bondage. But tonight, let it be my night that I will apply the precious blood of Jesus Christ to reverse whatever I have identified in my family. I have to say, I don't want this in my children. There is this kind of spirit. I don't want it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My Jesus Christ, if I have got knowledge about the blood of Jesus, I will stand on the knowledge and apply the knowledge of the blood of Jesus Christ. I will apply it to the faith. Unforgiveness. You cannot go beyond unforgiveness because there is the spirit of unforgiveness. You cannot forgive. Hallelujah. He never died in vain. Jesus never died in vain. He shed his blood for us. He never died in vain. He shed his blood for us. Whatever people may say about my issue, whatever people may say about my marriage, it's a face. Now I have heard the word of the cross, the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm working hard, but things are not coming out the way I'm, I'm thinking. I'm trying to do my things with all my heart, but things are not coming out the way I'm praying for. Let it be by the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ, he died for me. Ah, oh. Jesus, Rita Yabasato, Shanguta Laba Shakwena. Gone are the days when I remain captivity, knowing that Jesus died for me, knowing that Jesus shed his blood. Gone are the days to stay in captivity. I'm going to come out by the blood of Jesus. By faith, I'm going to come out. My children, they are going to come out by the blood of Jesus. They cannot suffer the same way their father suffered. They cannot suffer the same way their mother suffered. I cannot allow that. I will speak the blood of Jesus that changes the ancestry. That changes my background. That changes my situation. The blood of Jesus. Once we know something, we must do something. Now we know that we were redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. It was not mere gold or silver, but it was the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The seventh apostle of God, our father, Dr. E. H. Good, wrote in his book, The Fire of God, The Power of the Blood and the Water. Page number eight, he said, The power of the blood works through faith. The power of the blood works through faith. You have heard about the gospel of the blood of Jesus Christ. But this is not automatic. It doesn't work on its own. You have heard that the blood of Jesus Christ redeemed us from all this evil background. From all these spirits. But it is not automatic. 
it takes me now as a believer I have identified the spirits that are following me it's now my duty to go to the word of God and believe the word of God and apply the word of God and say to my life the Bible tells me that for as much as I know not saying for as much as you know for as much as I uh, come on come on come for as much as I know that I was not redeemed I am putting myself where it is written you I am saying I for as much as I know that I was not redeemed with corruptive things such as silver and gold from the vain conversation received by tradition from my fathers but with the precious blood of Jesus as of a lamb without blemish or spot. I speak I confess this scripture by faith with boldness with my energy when when you apply the, the, the word of God with knowledge with understanding it changes your life it changes your life when you speak the blood of Jesus with understanding that I am being rescued it changes your marriage it changes your family it changes your business there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ shall we stand up Jesus 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 the Bible says there were secret things that were done and they were done somewhere where you don't know you need to destroy these things by the blood of Jesus by the blood of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah you need to destroy these spirits by the blood of Jesus for as much as you know when you know that is first step that Jesus shed his blood for me I don't belong to Maria family my marriage doesn't belong to Maria family it belongs to God Whatever the family bondage that is following my marriage, I'm here tonight to declare the blood of Jesus. I was bought by the blood of Jesus. I was purchased by the blood of Jesus. I cannot remain in this situation where I'm being tormented by the family bondage spirits. I'm here to declare the blood of Jesus that I may come out. My children will come out by faith. I don't want to be told by anyone to declare the blood of Jesus. I'm here tonight to speak it with faith. Hallelujah. Glory. I was bought. I was bought. I was bought by the blood of Jesus. I was purchased by the blood of Jesus. I was purchased by the blood of Jesus. I'm addressing you. What is following me in my bloodline? I was purchased by the blood of Jesus. Whatever is in my blood, Hallelujah. when the word of God grows Glory. and prevails in me, Glory. then stuff from my background Hallelujah. will come out, will disappear by the word of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The soul. Yes. Let's go. 
Oh, God. 
spiritual embargo in my life, in my marriage, in my family, by the blood of Jesus, I have identified it. What is following me? Jesus died for me. Jesus. The power that breaks every yoke. The blood of Jesus. What is it this night? What is it this night? There is the power in the blood of Jesus. I cannot allow every family bondage to overrule my marriage. I cannot allow every family bondage to overrule my children. I cannot allow. I now know there is power in the blood of Jesus. I now know the blood was shed to deliver me. The blood was shed to rescue me. The blood was shed to rescue me. The blood was shed to deliver me. The blood was shed to deliver my wife. The blood was shed to deliver my husband. The blood was shed to deliver my children. I'm here tonight to declare the blood of Jesus. I'm here tonight. I cannot stay in this situation any more longer. I'm not going to stay. To die is my day. To come is the power in the blood of Jesus. There is the power in the blood of Jesus. There is the power in the blood of Jesus. There is the power in the blood of Jesus. There is the power in the blood of Jesus. There is a power. There is a power. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. There is a power. In the blood of Jesus. That it delivers. There is a power. In the blood of Jesus. That it heals. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. If you are here tonight. You have got marriage problems, life problems. Just lift up your hands. You can come here. Just lift up your hands. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The power of the blood of Jesus. The power of the blood of Jesus. That breaks. The spiritual embark that breaks every bondage, that breaks whatever is following the bloodline, that breaks whatever is destroying your marriage. The blood of Jesus. Tonight, there is the power of the blood of Jesus. Tonight, there is the power. Mama, 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 
mama, mama. I cannot stay in the same situation. I cannot stay in the same captivity. Jesus died for me. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for life for your life. Jesus died for your family. Jesus died for you. Jesus. Masha Telebosa. Retaya Basakata. The power. Lift your hands. Uh, I'm now praying. I'm now commanding. The power is going to touch you. The power of the blood of Jesus is going to touch you. As I pray right now, the virtue of the blood of Jesus, the virtue of the blood of Jesus that breaks every yoke. As I speak right now, as I speak right now, I command every power. Go! 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 The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! Yes! The power is moving! The power is moving! The power is moving! The power is moving! Yes, the vesh, the vesh, the vesh, the vesh, yes, yes, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the vesh, yes, it's too much, it's too much, it's touching you, it's too much, yes, the power of the blood of Jesus, right now, things are coming out hey, hey, hey. whatever you are feeling deliverance is taking place deliverance is taking place the blood of Jesus yes 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 Jesus 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 It's done. It's done. It's done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's done. It's done. Go. Leave it. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those without children come. Without children come. Miscarriages come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Miscarriage is come. Come. Jesus. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Miscarriage is just come. Those without children. Come. 
want to pray for you. Do we have those people? Masnava na kam. One more miscarriage is coming. Do we want to go to church? Masnava na iwa wa. One more miscarriage. But the power of the blood of Jesus Christ delivered us. And now we are having three children. She's going to testify one day that there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Just put one hand here. As we speak right now, the blood of Jesus, whatever in here, I command you to go. I say, go, come out, go, come out. I say, come out, come out and go. Leave it, leave it. I say, leave it. I break every case of barrenness. By the blood of Jesus, yes. The virtue of the Lord, yes. Yes, operation is taking place. Yes. Go! Go! I say receive your child. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say receive your child now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it! Receive it!